So in this section, we are going to learn how to send an order, whether it is sell or buy order, whether it is uh, buy stop or buy limit or sell stop or sell limit. First, I delete these sections. Now, actually, it is very simple. We just use order send. And, and very similar to RSI and moving average predefined function here, we again, uh, for the first section of this predefined function, we have symbol, it is string, and we want to send this order in which symbol, we can say null, and it will automatically use uh, the parameter of the corresponding windows which, which the script or expert advisor is running on it, or I use usually symbol here then the next one CMD integer if I double click on it and press F1 what is CMD operation whether you want to buy or sell if I in the CMD section command section click on trade option it will tell us if you use zero it will be a buy operation it, if you use one it would be sell operation and two buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop uh, in order but instead of using these values i prefer to use the id so next time i solve my code i can uh, easily realize what have i done here so i say operator buy or operator sell here for example we want to send an buy order op buy i want to send a buy order and then volume and it must be double for example i want to buy one lot in which price here because we want to buy uh, the buy would be run in ask price but if uh, the operator will sell we mu we must use uh, bid price we want to run this this order in the bid price so then slippage we don't want to have any slippage stop loss i want to be ask minus 200 point or it means 20 pips 200 points or 20 pips this is how we define it ask minus 200 points i want to i want to stop loss b in the two 20 pips under ask so then what would be the take profit i say for example ask plus 400 point here risk reward would be two and then what comment do you have here for example we can say uh, you can explain why we have uh, sent this order but here i don't want to have any comment magic number i give it for example 1000 then when i explain how to modify our order you can see how, how this magic number can be useful date and time expiration i give it zero uh, we can give the time for example if the order if it is a for example uh, stop order or limit order and the limit has not fulfilled for longer than for example one day i want to close it and uh, give give it an expiration time but here we don't have any expiration time and then which color i give it zero and close it if i run this script i would have i would send a buy order with one lot so i've compiled it i'll go here and then expert advisor if i drag and drop it here i wouldn't have any order because i wouldn't have any order because here this button is deactivate auto trading to be able to send order with expert advisor or throughout code and using script you must activate this button here if i activate it and then again run it and then press ok you can see that we have sent an order a buy order 
but we can do it uh, much more efficient here for example uh, I can say if orders total is equal to zero then come and uh, execute this code execute this code uh, so first I define lot size uh, for example it is equal to or instead of defining less lot size here we can have the lot size as an input here double ex uh, extern double lot size for example the initial value for example here is 0.1 lots and instead of using one lot here in order send we just simply copy and paste the variable of lot size here so we can before before running it uh, we can parameterize it and we can uh, give a certain amount of lots so again if i compile it and drag and drop it here for example here i, I want to send a buy order with two lot I, if i press ok i wouldn't have any order no order would be run because here I have a condition if orders total this orders total is a predefined function function and it returns the number of open orders at the moment we have an open order and uh, so the condition here is one is equal to zero no it's not equal so what is between the parentheses is not true so this condition would not be wrong but if I close it and uh, the number of open orders is zero then this condition would be true and if i drag and drop it here i can give it for example two lot i want to have a buy order by two lot size and if i press ok then i can open a buy order i if i can and, and then if i close it i can for example uh, again a little manipulate our code Extend, for example, uh, Boolean. Is by, and it is true. Is by, if it is true, it means, if it is by variable is true, it means send the by order. But if it is false, it means send a cell order so uh, now I can define two other ifs is by equal to true then Uh, use again to parenthesis here send a by order but if is by is not true or instead of is not true we can say is equal to false both of them are true we can use both of them but uh, in this case I use not equal so uh, you can be familiar with this type of code too if it's not true here send a cell order but but we must notice that if this line of code at the moment ran it wouldn't execute any order because because we are sending a cell order but the stop loss is less than entry point when we send a cell the stop loss must be higher than entry point so first because it is a cell order cell must sell 
must be the entry point for cell is big and then the stop loss must be higher than the entry point bid plus 200 points and take profit must be less than entry point and magic code magic code is, not, is ma magic number is not very not, not important just for the buy order i give it 1000 and for the sell order i give it 1001 And now if I compile it and I drag and drop it, we can say is buy, no, it is not buy and it is sell and I want to sell 1.5 lots. If I press OK here. I have a sell order. The stop loss is 400, uh, 200 points higher than the entry point, and take profit is 400 point lower than entry point. If I drag and drop it here again, I wouldn't have any other order because it is restricted with this line of code with this if condition. And if I close it and Again, run it. Is it buy? Yes, it is buy. And I want to, for example, buy this amount of lot. If I press OK here, another buy is run. So in the next chapter, we learn how to modify them. How to, for example, trail the stop loss. But uh, the conditions, the principle for, for example, sending a sell limit or sell stop or buy limit or buy stop are exactly the same and you can easily test them by yourself.